Looked in at a young age by the forces of No. You're surely now aware that the royal family of Nor is your enemy by birthright. Yet you came back all the same. I cannot help but wonder why. Can I just say it's a bit weird that birth the name birthright gets dropped so much more here. No, they're just letting you know, by the way, if you had gone with them, you would have been playing birthright, so <laughs> Because it didn't do that with Conquest. It's implied. <laughs> well, there's some... We'll see. I see how mm. Smells like treachery! Betrayal! She surely sided with the enemy. Could it be she's planning to assassinate you, King Garen? It's only logical. No. How could... There. <clears throat> how could you say such a thing? I would never do such a thing. How could you say that? I would never do such a thing. It's true. Dan Green. It's true. That is simply not possible. No. Oh, how can you be so sure? I expect less sentimentality from a future king of no. I have proof that Amorous loyalty still lies with Noah. Although it was her first bat true battle, she fought off Hushidin's art. Oh, push an army all on her own. Even though this is te was technically our fourth battle, but besides that. Uh, Santa, that's not exactly. Uh... Be quiet, Terminus. Don't say a word. What's more, I saw her elect, her elect to return to Nor with my own eyes. We all did. Because of that choice, Prince Ryoma grew angry and tried to kill Avarice. But she were hosted a spy. Why would she risk her life for us? Why would she alienate herself from the Hoshin royals by protecting us? Hmm, a convincing story. But it proves nothing. The whole thing could have been an elaborate ruse. Silence, Iago. As Crown Prince of Noor, I swear on my honor. Then it was no act. You weren't even there, you fool. How could you possibly know what transpired? That's enough, Iago. Your words have been heard and considered. Amaris, where's the sword I gifted you with before you left? That sword, it broke while I was in Hoshido. It exploded before my eyes. If Mother, I mean, the Hoshiden Queen, if she hadn't sacrificed herself to save me, I would have died. I see. How very touching. Um... Father, I must ask you something. Did, did you give me the sad sword, knowing that this would happen, that it was planned? Amorous, I don't think now is the best time to bring that up. No, I must know. For myself and for the innocent Hoshidans who were killed. Father, please tell me the truth. Did you plan that explosion? Did you raise me as your child just to send me with that sword to die in Hoshido? That sword is just a sword. I know nothing about this attack of which you speak. But, Father... I gave you my answer, girl. I won't say it again. Still doubting the king? Are you? Those Hoshidans really got under your skin. King Garen. I think it's safe to say we have a dirty Hoshidan spy on our hands. Sadly, I must agree. Now that the war between our kingdoms has escalated, I have no choice. I cannot allow this little problem to go any further than it already has. Xander, kill Amaris. That's an order. 
Well, this was a short game. <laughs> what? Father, stop this madness, I beg of you. Is your beard clipping into your chest? Probably. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Sorry. Um, please, no, don't hurt our sister. That's enough, princess. It's not your place to question the king's decision. Not even a queen would be able to overrule a direct command from King Garin. Xander, you have your orders. Now, my Stalin, proceed. I won't do it. I'm sorry, Father. Ah, oh, what's the matter? Don't have the guts. Or is your own crown prince also a traitor? He is the fire royal order, after all. No. Stop this. Sander is not a traitor. Father, I am the cause of this. All will be well if it just disappear, correct? Please, don't bring Xander into this. I'll do it myself. Father? So, you're willing to trade your life for his? Fascinating. In that case... I shall have the great Anankus to decide your fate. Now would be a good time to start praying. Father, I don't understand. Quiet, children. I will now seek the counsel of the sacred mystical dragon Anankus. He alone shall decide Amaris' fate. King Garen, you can't be serious. Are you feeling well? The mystical dragon Anakos? Mighty Anakos, I call upon your wisdom on this day of reckoning. Grant me a vision. Show me the way. <laughs> Understood. It shall be done. Fate to smile on you today, young Amaris. As decreed by Anakos, you shall be accepted into the Norian royal family. Father, I... Thank you. King Garin, this is preposterous. You did do the right thing, Father. We are all eternally grateful. Not so fast. Before it can be done, Amaris must first pass a test. A test? What kind of test? Anarchus decrees that you must first suppress the Ice Tribe's rebellion. Once you've gloriously fulfilled that obligation on behalf of Noor, I will welcome you back into the fold as my daughter, and all will be as it was. Suppress the rebellion? Yes. I understand, Father. No matter what, I won't let you down. Don't worry yourself. You'll do great, Amherst. I shall prepare the troops immediately. With our army at your side, you will make quick work of that little rebellion. Yeah, you can do it! I'll go along too so I can heal you if you get hurt. You fail to understand the task at hand. To fulfill the wishes of an Akos, she must perform this task by herself. Aris will vanquish the tribe alone, 
without the help of our troops. What? Father, that's not... Th that's not possible! Father, be reasonable. Attempt to end the rebellion alone is suicide. To even get there, she must pass through the woods of the fa Forlorn. It's too much to ask for of her when she's still too, uh, so experienced in the ways of the world. If that's so, then kill her now. I will not tolerate insolence. Understood, Father. I apologize for my outburst. Don't worry, Xander. I'll find a way to do this alone. Somehow. Do you remember when Leo said I had the devil's luck? It must be true. I swear to you, I will accomplish this task and return home without fail. If you'll excuse me, I must go make proper preparations for my journey. Amorous, well. may the gods be at your side. I have high hopes for you, Amaris. Do not let me down. I won't, Father. That's a promise. Excellent. All is going according to plan. She's already left. All alone. Just as an Ancus ordained. No traitor of nor shall escape justice. Even if she begs for the sweet release of death, I won't allow it. Um, father, we haven't left yet. <laughs> Shut it. <laughs> yeah, we're... <laughs> she must first live long enough to lose all hope and learn the true meaning of pain. <laughs> uh, so it is true. I should have known. Father intends only to make Amorous suffer. In that case, I know what I must do. You know I can hear you, right? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk back, you little bastard. <laughs> It's like a family trait. They just talk about their plans in front of each other and think no one can hear. Like, just so in case you thought, like, maybe on the Conquest side, Garen and Iago would be more subtle. No, they're less so. They're even more obviously evil. <laughs> like, I was going to say, how the fuck did it take so long for me to convince Leo and Camilla that Garen might be evil? <laughs> um, it, it's still going to take a while. <clears throat> How? So, this is, these are the woods of the Forlorn. If I can make it through here, I'll never, uh, if I can't make it through here, I'll never reach the Ice vill Tribe Village. I wonder if I'm ever going, if I'm even going the right way. I've never had to go it, it alone like this. It's a lonely feeling. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry, Lilith. You're absolutely right. I I'm not alone. I wow, I went a different accent there. I don't have. I have you. <laughs> <laughs> thank, thank you for looking out after me. Having you here makes me feel a lot better. But enough fooling around. I must fulfill my father's command. Otherwise, otherwise, I betrayed my birth family for nothing. <sighs> so the one problem with playing Conquest Second is there's a lot of times where it's like, you know, birthright would have been a lot nicer and better. <laughs> Val. It's pitch black in here. This isn't going to be easy, is it? It's so dark. I could be walking in endless circles for all I know. Oh, what to do? Lilith? What was that? I think I heard something. Um, Lilith, are you okay? 
Oh. Ooh looks really shocked. <laughs>